Hi, it's Adrienne. How are you doing today? And so here to talk about how to get a glowy look. And so I thought I'd go ahead and go through what I have on today, and then we'll get to talking about that. Um, as far as what I have on for foundation, I have the Tree Match in C 2.5. And um, so this is a new reformulated one that uh, just came out from L'Oreal that has a pump and everything. And um, yeah, I thought this shade would be a little bit dark, but it doesn't seem to be at this point. I used the ColourPop Pretty Fresh, my favorite concealer today. And then as far as going ahead and doing um, bronzer and blush, at the old packaging, this is the Wet and Wild, uh, the Bikini Contest. And so that's what I have on as my uh, bronzer today. And then as far as uh, blush, I do have on one of the new ColourPop blushes that you can get on the ColourPop website at Ulta or at Target. And this one is just cruising. That's what it looks like. And so that's what I have on today. And yeah, liking that one. I also have on the Seismic Highlighter from ColourPop as well. And this one does have some actual glitter in it. So that's what I have on there. As far as moving toward the eyes, uh, the Thicket Stick It by um, NYX and Cool Ash Brown. And then the Sky High. And this is the Cosmic Black. This one's by Maybelline. I did go over to TJ Maxx, and like I said before in videos, I'm having to go ahead and limit the times I go over there because when I go over there, I just like to spend them. everything I see I think I need. So what I did end up going ahead and getting was this BH Cosmetics Crystal Zodiac one, and um, BH Cosmetics is actually still around. They were bought by Revol Revolution Beauty, so they are still here. Um, but their uh, palettes keep on turning up over at um, yeah over at TJ Maxx, so I keep on picking them up. And they do the, uh, just a fun layout. Um, this one's actually smaller. Some of the other palettes that are done in the same, they have a, a love palette that's done this way. And um, so they're a little bit larger, but it's actually just a fun layout. And I started with this color right here, which is more of a periwinkle. And then I did this color on the lid and this color on the outer corner as far as what I've done for the eye look today. And I went ahead and added in uh, this one by Emride, which is a um, waterproof cream eyeliner, or cream gel eyeliner. This is how the eye look turned out. And then as far as what I did for the lips today, use the ColourPop. This is the glowing lips. And this one's in Girl Please. And then this one is the NYX Fat Oil in Supermodel. So, yeah, that's what I mix for the lips today. As far as going ahead and talking about some of the glowy, glowy looks, and I do, I mean, my whole channel could be renamed How to Get a Glowy Look. But <laughs> as far as... Uh, different ways to go ahead and do that. The one, and I haven't even really tried this yet, but um, this, the Versed, it's a toner, and it's a glow toner, so that's definitely one way to start out. And you can add these all together, or just do part of them, or, you know, it depends on how much glow that you want to have. Um, the other two newer ways to go ahead and do that would be with the Sun Touchables by e.l.f., the Woe Glow. This is in the shade Sunbeam, and it has a very glowy look. Um, also the e.l.f. Halo Glow. And so these are the newer ones that have come out. Um, 
I've used glow lotions before as well as the Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, they've always been around. You just kind of have to look for them. And they weren't as popular until now. And Charlotte Tilbury really went ahead and put those on the map. Um, let's see. This one is actually by Catrice. It's what I have on today. And I didn't go ahead and use any of the, yeah, the primers or anything that have the glow in them. Uh, but I think I got a really glowy look. And so sometimes um, I'll just go ahead and use the Catrice powder. And this one has a lot of glow. It's a pink powder, but like I said, a powder with a lot of glow. And so you can definitely go ahead and get one that way. Um, the Glisten Up. So Glisten Up by Fourth Ray, which is a sister company to ColourPop. You can get it on the same website. And this will, it has mica in it. And so, I don't know if you can see it real well here, but um, it definitely has a lot of glow there as well. So I guess what I'm trying to say with this video is that you don't necessarily need a primer that's glowy to get a glowy look. You can definitely do it uh, with a spray, with a finishing powder, or you can start adding all of these together. Um, some of the glowy blushes as well. I have one right here. This is by Flower Beauty, and this one is one of their pyramids. It's called Rose Glow, and it's really pretty here. Um, so if you start layering the glowy together, you will end up with a lot of glowy um, looks. But if you want to go ahead and minimize it, just use one or two products. I mean, I will at times just keep on layering it on until I'm... And you can see me from outer space. But, you know, it just depends on what you'd like to do. But those are some options that, you know, to keep a look out for when you're shopping. And um, that's just about all that I have as far as this video goes. So thank you and have a great day. And I'll see you later. Bye.